Hello all and welcome to another video from Miss Robbie's Classroom. I'm your teacher advisor, Ms. Robbie, and today we will have another video on our series of the self-learning home task for the second quarter in English 7. For this group, you will need your English 7 home task for week 5, some pieces of bond paper for your outputs, and a pen. Pay attention when you hear the bell sound. That means you may need to pause the video in order to do the task given. Then resume the video once you're done. And remember to work on your own. No problem in asking for help from others as long as you did all the work. So our goals at the end of this clip is that you'll be able to summarize key information from a text. And so with that, let's talk about Lesson 5, Summarizing a Text. What is a summary? A summary is a brief restatement of the most important parts of the story or text. Summarizing is when you tell what you have read in your own words. Here are some tips for summarizing. Number 1. Read a story or passage and understand it thoroughly. Number 2. Make sure to include all important information. Number 3. Leave out or exclude information that might be interesting but not important. Number 4. It should follow the sequence of the original text. Number 5. Don't repeat information even if it's repeated in the text. Number 6. Use category words instead of list of words. For example, vegetables instead of carrots, beans, and coin. Number 7. Use your own words. Don't plagiarize or copy the exact words of the original text. Number 8. Don't add your interpretation, opinion, background knowledge, and personal information when summarizing. Number 9. It should be clear to someone who has not read the original text. And number 10. Keep it short and simple. Is there another technique in summarizing a story? Yes, there is. It's called summarizing using SWBST. S stands for somebody. Who is the main character in the story? W stands for wanted. What did the character want? B stands for but. What was the problem? S stands for so. How did the character try to solve the problem? And T stands for then. What was the resolution to the story? Take a look at this example. Using Cinderella, summarize using SWBST. Somebody. Who is the main character? That will be Cinderella. What does the character want? She wanted to go to the ball at the castle and meet the prince. What is the problem the character is faced with? Her wicked stepmother told her she could not go. How did the character try to solve the problem? Cinderella's fairy godmother came and helped her get to the ball. How did the story end? Cinderella and the prince fell in love and lived happily ever after. Using the information you got from SWBST, you can then write your summary. Cinderella wanted to go to the ball at the castle and meet the prince. Her wicked stepmother told her she could not go. So, Cinderella's fairy godmother came and helped her get to the ball. Then Cinderella and the prince fell in love and lived happily ever after. You now have your summary. So let's apply what you just learned. Go to pages 2 to 3 of your home task. Read the passages below and choose the most appropriate summary. Let's take number 1. Travis and Frederick went to the mall to buy shoes. 
Frederick decided that he was going to steal a pair of shoes from the mall. Travis tried to talk Frederick out of doing it. When they got to the mall and entered the shoe store, Travis went to look at some shoes. Frederick pretended to be looking at shoes. Then he suddenly bolted for the door with a pair of thanks. Security guard reached out and grabbed Frederick's arm and took him to the station. Travis just called his mom to pick him up. What would be the most appropriate summary? A. Travis wanted a pair of shoes from the mall, so he got his friend Frederick to steal them. B. Frederick thought he could get away with stealing shoes from the mall, and he did. C. Travis had no idea that Frederick planned to steal from the mall when they planned to buy shoes. D. Travis tried to talk his friend Frederick out of stealing shoes from the mall, but when he did it anyway, he got caught. The most appropriate summary would be letter D. Are you ready to answer the rest? Let's go! It's checking time. Let's see if you got your answers correctly. Check your own work. Let's go back to page 2 to 3. With number 1, we have already answered it with letter D. For number 2, the correct answer would be letter C. For number 3, the correct answer is letter D. For number 4, the correct answer is letter A. And for number 5, the correct answer is letter B. It's assessment time. Go to page 4 of your home task. Choose one story to read. It can be your favorite story that you previously read. Then, summarize it using the SWBSD technique. Copy the template below. Good luck! Enrichment Activity Cut out or print a brief article from a newspaper or magazine. Internet articles are acceptable from valid sources, like Sunstar, Philippine Daily Inquirer, The Philippine Star, Cebu Daily News, or others. Paste the article on a short bond paper and write a summary of what you've read. Include the main idea and other important or relevant information. Here is what your output number 3 would look like. Submit your self-learning home task to your teacher for checking. Now you're all set for lesson 6. Until next time, this is your teacher advisor, Ms. Robbie. Happy studying, guys!